NASCAR Western Cup Series comes to the Daytona International Speedway again today. MRN is live to give you a look at this very unique race. A little different than what we're used to seeing here, Barney. I think we're going to see it all today. Hard braking, tight turns left and right, even some drafting. Where else could you see all this together than at the Daytona International Speedway? The 83 car has really turned up the intensity recently. I'm not sure the other drivers appreciate it. You know, a little contact now and then is to be expected. The track gets crowded real quickly when you put 43 cars out there. I wouldn't be too worried about it. The Zero car hasn't made much of a move in the points so far. Yeah, those guys have been working so hard this year. It's a shame it doesn't really show in points. Just seems they can't keep that car out of trouble on race day. Maybe their luck will change today. So welcome back to NASCAR 2004 for PlayStation 2, the 17th race of our of my custom season. They turn infield for the running of the Florida 500 K. I start pretty far back, 17th, but let's see if I can uh, charge up to the front win. First off, though. Whoa, 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 I shouldn't have done that. Too aggressive, too early. Way too aggressive. It was way too early to try that. Oh, the Sterling Marlin, really? You think? Ah, come on, really?
We have Robbie Doran ramming into me. We're racing back to the line, so this is going to be a long race already. Starting mid-pack was not the way I wanted to go, so I mean, it's not good. Damn it, Robbie Gordon. Okay, clear, so I can just hang on to 36 spot right now. Hopefully. Or not. So I ran into the sand trap. And 41st at the line. Damn it. So this is going to be one long race. Wow, the left side of my car is completely total. I ran up in the Ricky Rudd, and then I just, then it just made me spin out. That's great. And then, freaking Hermie Sadler just T-bones me. Surprised my car and his was out he'd gone. So the bad luck continues, even though I won it in Pinion. Hit. Near the back anyway, it shouldn't matter. Oh, everyone's pitting. Damn it. Pretty much everyone's pitting. Great. I'm just gonna try some strategy and hope it works. If it doesn't, then it's my fault. Just give me a good pit stop, please. Alright, nothing bad happened. Just fix the damage and go. There we go. Oh, great, there's Ricky Red again. Awesome. And Johnson was the winner on pit road. The big winner was Jeff Gordon from 11th to 4th. I can run a lap around this track, I just gotta be careful with how I run it. I don't think I can say them because I'm just trying to run here. I'm glad I run. I think I know where I should and shouldn't pass right now, so it's okay. I'm not okay to pass right now. Unless I can slingshot by. No. Okay. Break. Ah, uh, give me room. Okay. I had to make room. Anyway. Sorry, Ricky Red. Okay. No. Oh, Schrader. Really? That's minus 30? That is so messed up. You know that? He's not going to get anywhere close to me right now. Unless I screw up somewhere and then he decides, oh, I'm just going to slam into and get my revenge. That's, n that's not how NASCAR works. And that's not how NASCAR works. Like, they don't just slam anyone and just give it just give their revenge. That really pissed off Elliot Sadler. Whew, finally get back up to Ricky Red. I don't know how to run that last corner for that uh, front straightaway, so that's kind of something I need to work on right now. There we go, I got it. Now if I can just stay in draft with Jack Sprague. Got it. I should have stopped talking about Elliot Sadler in my working year. Yeah, he's showing up again. Keeps showing up, it's pissing me off. I don't know what's pissing me off more. It's the fact that I can't pass anyone because of how deep I am in the field. 
or the fact that like I have a rival that's not that's not gonna go away after those couple races. Ah, uh, hang on. Okay, I wasn't good. I did gain one spot. That's great. That was dangerous. A nice slingshot by Greg Biffle. Yes. Top 20. I wouldn't expect anything from Ricky Greg right now because he's minus 70. Damn it. Man. Oh, sand trap, damn it. There you go. Awesome, all that work gone. All that work is gone now. Since I know, and since I know I can make it on fuel, then I, there's no reason to really pit except for tires now. So I'm being stuck in last place anyway. Okay, you can get to that 46 car. God damn it. All that work just went down the drain. Oh my god, just because I ran to Ricky Rudd. Oh the fact that I was still trying to get going, it just, I was trying to get away from the sand trap. I went into the sand trap, the first one, and then I hit Ricky Rudd and just spun me. And the, that just, that's just like NASCAR physics in this game. I don't like it. Oh my god. Alright, I'm pitting because I need, I'm just going to get some fresh tires. Because why the hell not? I'm just going to get a half can of fuel just to make sure I'm okay. You know, I probably don't need it, but you know. Better safe than sorry, because I'm going to get four tires anyway. That's alright. Still not gonna lose any spots because I'm last place. I was in the top half and I was trying to be real aggressive and I screwed up. I thought this would be a race where I could redeem myself when using the Daytona 500. Guess not. I don't care. Let's go. Yeah, that's not happening because this race is not over. So, yeah. Who else for Hermie Sadler because, I, because he just T-boned me. That first caution. Now the race is over, Jimmy Johnson wins. I didn't even get a chance to go again. And I get, uh, what was it, 40 second? Because Tony Stewart is, did not finish. First race ever. Who wish they had seen the lead? The 83 car would like to have finished a lot better, I'm sure. He stayed in the fight all race long. Things just never quite went his way. The 83 car had a run in during the race with the 21 car. I'm not sure how all this got started, but now that they have a little history on the track, it'll be something to watch in the weeks ahead. This is MRN signing out for now, and we hope you'll join us again for another exciting NASCAR Winston Cup race real soon. Yeah, um, sooner or later. That was, yeah, that's not a great race.
Johnson, Jimmy Johnson wins by by second. Mark Martin third, and Ryan Newman fourth. Jeff Gordon fifth, and then he had Jerry Nagy sixth, Jerry Marlon seventh. Still, uh, Steve Park eighth, Billy ninth, and Kurt Busch runs out the top ten. And you can see Tony Stewart he fell out of the race uh, at the end. He fell out the race out of the race earlier. Well mentioned, I'm guessing. I didn't even notice that. I'm really pissed off. I can't believe it happened. Oh my god. Well, you know, with the assists off and all that stuff, you would assume that I have some of those races. And I can't change the settings, so that's kind of the downside of it. Alright, so let's look to twice gang. Bobby Bonnie has a 170 point lead on Ryan Newman. They had Jeff Gordon, third, and Justin fourth, and Mark Martin, fifth in points. And it's Dan Jr., Kurt and Kurt Bush, sixth in points. Matt Kins is eighth in points. Billy ninth. And I am still tenth in points. Four and nine points back to the championship. Then it's Ricky Craven, Tony Stewart, Billy Marlin, Rusty Wallace, and Dale Jarrett. Right now, top 17 points, 645 points back of Bobby Bonnie points leader. Next race is Chicagoland Speedway in Joliet, Illinois for the running of the Trap Fire. See you guys in Chicago.